So for today, it's going to be on the left hip, knee, and ankle. If you do it on the wrong knee, knee or wrong ankle, you fail the test. So I'm going to go wash my hands. And then remember, for your skills, if you wash your hand the first time, if this is not your first skills test, you don't need to physically wash your hand. You can only say you're going to wash your hand. But the fact that you're not going to physically wash your hand and you forget to tell the examiner that you're washing your hands, that would also make you feel because you failed infection control with your indirect care. All right, so I'm physically washing my I'm not washing my hands. I'm verbalizing that I'm washing my hands. I'm drying my hands. Then I'm going to get my gloves. Come back to the room. So the first thing you want to do is lock the bed. Make sure the bed is safe and secure. And then you're going to raise the bed to your elbow level if the bed is not already raised. For today, the bed is raised, so I'm not going to do that again. And then you're going to give the resident some privacy. You're going to pull the privacy button. Always make sure that when you are doing the range of motion, you are making eye contact. You're looking at the resident's face because that is the only way you're going to know if the resident is in pain. So I'm going to ask Miss Jones. Miss Jones, are you in pain? No, I'm okay. Okay. So is it okay to pull your 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 bedding a little bit so that I can get your knee? Yes, that's fine. Okay. So also, try not to expose the resident. If you think you're going to expose the resident, you're better off getting a bath towel to cover it up. I'm going to hold it, knee, to give it some support while I do the range of motion. Hey, Ms. Jones, are you okay? Yes, I'm all right. All right, so this is going to be the flight. Try not to be forceful, be gentle with her while asking her if she's okay. Are you still okay? Yes, I'm all right. <laughs> Extend. Flex. Extend. Remember, you're going to do this three times. Flex. Extend. Ask Miss Jones again. Is she in pain? Miss Jones, are you in pain? No, I'm not. Okay, should I continue? Yes, please. Okay, so now I'm going to do range of motion to the knee. So it's going to be flex. Extend. Give it some support by holding it. Flex. Extend. Flex. Extend. And then finally, Miss Jones, I'm going to do a range of motion to your ankle. How are you feeling so far? Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Okay, so it's going to be range of motion. Flex. Hyperextension. Flex. Hyperextension. Flex. Hyperextension. Okay. And then you're gonna cover Miss Jones right back up. Fix her gown. Miss Jones, are you okay? Yep. All right. So before I leave the room, would you like me to reposition you on the left side, on the right side, looking out of the window, or do you want to watch TV? No, I'm comfortable like this. Okay. And would you like your call light on your left or on your right? On my left, please. Okay, your call light is right here. So remember, I did raise the bed to get it up to elbow level. So before you leave, you're gonna lower the bed so that resident doesn't fall off the bed and pull the curtain back out so you can leave. Also, like I've explained in previous videos, you're gonna go and wash your hands, but you won't do it physically because you already did it at the beginning of your skill. So you're gonna verbalize, I'm washing my hands. And remember also, while in the video, while doing your skills if you remember any skill doing the skills that you forgot to do something before you exit or tell your examiner you're all done you can always go fix what you didn't do right but with this skill i made sure that mrs jones was comfortable i offered her whatever she denied she denies pain i verbalized lower, lowering the bed i made sure the bed was locked i gave her her call light and i did wash my hands so i am done with the skills thank you